Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be discussing what what does alligators or crocodile mean in a dream. So anytime you have a dream about like an alligator or reptiles, it's usually is going to represent something that is not good. Um, specifically with an alligator, you want to look at the practicality of an alligator, right? What do they have? They have a big mouth. They have a long mouth, right? Huge mouth. And they have a long tail. So when you're dealing with a crocodile or alligator, it's going to be a representation of gossip and slander, specifically of someone in, uh, uh, who has influence and power or has a position of power. It's a, a evil spirit operating against you, basically, that is um, trying to defeat, defeat you with uh, lies and telling, you know, t tall tales or long tales about you or whatever. Tall tales about you, not long tales. Um, so slander and is is dealing with the enemy trying to come against you and when it's a, a alligator is a ancient it's like you know kind of looks like a dinosaur so those are ancient they can be re linked and related to ancient things and ancient spirits as well depending on the type of attack like if it's within your like if it's in your house then that's probably an attack against you personally um, or in your backyard, or on your own property, or in, within a home context. But if it's in the church, that's a bigger principality. That is going to be Leviathan. Leviathan is a, 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 a spirit that is in Job, uh, the book of Job 41, and God talks about it. And it really is pride. It's a, it's a spirit of pride. They have scales. Um, nothing can penetrate it. Can't get through to it. Um and it has a death roll. So it's, an, it's using the mouth. And usually when you have a Leviathan, you're going to have a Jezebel and Ahab and other uh, other ranking spirits that they, they kind of flow together. So when, you, when you're dealing with this kind of dream or whatever, um, what are they trying to do to you in the dream? Are they trying to tear you? Are they trying to get you into a death roll? Are they trying to bite at you? Are they trying to affect you? Or are they just sitting there still? Even if they're sitting there still, you still need to deal with it every time. You have to deal with these kind of things because by nature, alligators and crocodiles are aggressive. Um, and so this is going to be representing a person, an organization or something like that, that is operating in uh, the spirit of uh, slander and gossip and uh, pride and, and just using their mouth to hurt and to harm. So when you wake up, from that dream, you want to ask God to show you who that represents or what that represents. And if it's a <clears throat> something that is a organization and if it's more of a pride or a Leviathan thing, an ancient spirit, you want to um, pray that God will deal with that. And then you want to shut it down from operating in your life. Um, because Leviathan is a spirit of pride and God deals with that spirit of pride. So um, you want to be... You have power, obviously, but you want to be careful to not um, to try to take something on that you don't have the strength to fight. And I'm not saying that you're you, obviously we're strong in Christ and we uh, we tread upon the enemy, but there are uh, there's a there's order as well. So you want to just be mindful and seek the Lord about what He wants you to do in that way. But you shut it down, you um, come against it, you shut it down. And know that God is showing you that because he doesn't want you to be caught off guard in the situation. So you pray that, uh, pray against those words, more specifically the words, what, uh, what, the, what they're saying against you. And you cancel those words. So if I wake up, if I had a dream like that, I will wake up and I will say, in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of pride, of, of, of slander and of gossip. And, and I command every word that rises that uh, every word curse spoken against me, every tongue that rises against me, I condemn you in Jesus' name. I shut down your power power from operating in my life. You have no power in my life in Jesus' name. I counsel your words against me of slander, of hate. Um, I bind false witness, lies, hatred, and murder from operating against me and towards me and in my life. And I bind the spirit operating in such and such who is trying to come against me in the name of Jesus. I command you to cease and desist in the name of Jesus. So you just want to pray into that and um, shut it down. Um, shut down the attack. Because if you don't deal with what's being shown to you in dreams, what if you don't deal with the spiritual stuff, it's going to deal with you. And that's why a lot of people got to speak to us in all these different ways. And we just 
we wonder why our lives are how they are because we don't pay attention a lot of times. And that's no shade to anyone. Just, you know, you want to pay attention to these kind of dreams because they're important because it's showing you what's pending in the spirit, what's trying to ha happen in the spirit, spirit, whether good or bad, so you can know how to assess and pray and partner with heaven to bring what God is wanting to bring in your life. So anyways, that is what alligators and crocodiles mean in a dream to sum back up. Uh, it's a big mouth, a, a big tail, a lies, gossip, slander, something that's trying to come against you, someone uh, operating in someone who is usually a person of influence um, or someone who's close to you. Um, so you want to deal with that. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box and I will talk to you in the next video. Until next time, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.